This morning, I was accosted by three men carrying some poor soul's head atop a pike. Seems they mistook my uniform for a mark of nobility and demanded I shout, Long live the Republic, to prove my allegiance. I suppose handing out tricolor cockades is now passé. What did you do? I shouted, Long live the Republic. A man of principle. Life is more valuable than dignity. But... This is what happens when you give command of the government to half-starved lunatics and command of the army to bloodthirsty savages. Rui. I wanted him assigned to some out-of-the-way garrison, but the man redefines the term friends in high places. He's untouchable. But you know where I can find him. Rumor about the barracks is that he and a unit of his cronies plan on marching on the Grand Chatelet this afternoon. If he were to meet with an accident, few in France would suffer. My career certainly wouldn't. Well, practice your speech making. Nobody try anything. Come on, boys! Find me a warden! Go to the guillotine for this. Don't make this harder on yourself. Damn traitor! I got you, moderate bastard! Thank me by getting to the walls and stopping these killings. Oui, monsieur. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hold fast, men! Cut them down! Protect the prisoners! Death to the traitors! Beat them back! Vive la revolution! Steady! Out to the breach! Hold that line! Hello, my friend. Avoid that! No. Anyone else? He's... he's on the roof. Uh, I should get back. <laughs> Come on, boys. Up what there. the devils? That's enough. He's not here. Your brother's here to visit. But <laughs> don't you want to see him? What was that? <laughs> Moderate <laughs> scum! <laughs> Like you! Yeah. 
Vive la révolution If you have orders to remove us from this hall, you must also get authority to use force. For we shall yield to nothing but bayonets! Ah, but to administer is to govern. To govern is to reign. That is the essence of the problem. Mr. Mirabeau. Pathetic, isn't it? Surely, France deserves better. What was that? Pelin W. Clumbo. Roy, clean up your mess, it's tight. Told you I could make him talk. You've done well, Captain. Marie. The price of grain is higher than ever, Grandmaster. Our agents are in place to divert the shipments to our docks. They await only your command. Good. Starve them. Through famine and fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. What you're asking will take at least a year, Grandmaster. If not two. Those cuts bleed him slowly. Hold the moment. Citizen, hold him! Ah! Right here, get him off, Palace. Oh. What was that? What do you know about grain merchants? Good to see you too. Most of them are very poor just now, why? I have a lead on Germain. He has a woman named Marie buying up grain shipments and diverting them to a private dock. Marie Levesque? You know her. The Levesques have been Templars since the Third Crusade. Marie was the only one who argued against Germain's exile. I'm not surprised she's thrown in with him. Any idea where we might find her? Not her, no. But what little grain makes it to Paris these days is unloaded at the Hôtel de Ville docks. Promising. I'll start there. Perhaps I can learn something of Madame Levesque's whereabouts. Pourquoi 
Heave to! Tie off the ball in! Captain! Any problems? No, madame. You have your orders? Here, madame. Good. And I'm instructed to tell you to make certain one of the bags leaks. Uh... Yes, madame. Get to work! Someone there. I'm not hearing things. Bloody counter. Uh!
Try and cut him off. Chop those bloody legs off. Quel homme étrange. de nos nets citoyens. Halle Luxembourg. Hmm. What are you up to there?